Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Proxima Midnight and Corvus Glaive in the tower defense scenario. So I'm playing Hulk in leadership again. I'm doing the digging uh, Hulk dig deck that I did in my last video because it was a lot of fun and thought, why not? Let's just do it again because it was so silly and I really enjoyed it. Um, but before I proceed, I just want to do a quick shout out. I've finally been given here my good friend, uh, Lord Havoc, has given me the Hulk promo. Uh, card which looks spectacular so doing a little shout to Lord Havoc uh, absolutely check him out I'll link him in the description I often team up with him for custom content he's quite the pillar of the custom content community showcasing a lot of it uh, join him usually for a weekly stream uh, yeah definitely go check him out he's a good good friend of mine and you know good friend who's given me this amazing promo card uh, but with that out of the way let's get straight into our setup so with Under Siege here, we reveal stage 2A and put into play next to this stage so that there are two main schemes and two villains in play. So there's 2A. So when revealed, we put the Avengers Tower environment into play strong held up. So there we have that there. That's the Avengers Tower. Um, it's unique. Uh, the, new, uh, the unique rule does not apply to Avengers Tower. There's a force response when there is at least uh, nine per player damage here. Remove all of it, then flip Avengers Tower. Um, put the focused defense attachment to play attached to this stage and each player searches the encounter deck for a copy of uh, Black Order Besiege and puts it into play, engage with them and shuffle the encounter deck. So focused defense, it's a permanent uh, attachment. The villain who matches the attached scheme is the active villain and we have force response after the player phase ends, attach this card to the other main scheme. So if we proceed to uh, 1B over here, this is Proxima Midnight scheme. Uh, it comes in with one threat. And goes up one per round. As a response, forced interrupt. Uh, when this stage would be completed, remove all threat from this stage, then deal six per uh, player damage to Avengers Tower. And uh, we'll grab our Black Order. Whoops. Black Order procedure and put them into play. There's one right there. Shuffle up the encounter deck. Uh, so when the Black Order procedure, after Black Order. So you engages you, which they are currently doing, which is ideal one damage to Avengers Tower or two to identity. We'll just take the two, taking Hulk from 18 to 16, or Bruce down to 16. And for the Armies of Thanos main scheme, it's Corvus Glaive, Corvus Glaive scheme, and has a force to interrupt uh, when it would complete. We remove all threat from this scheme, um, sorry, from this uh, stage instead, and then deal each player one face down encounter card, and that comes in with one threat. Uh, I believe that's this all set up. So Proxima Knight schemes of one, attack of two, which is a force interrupt. Uh, when she attacks you, choose to either deal one damage to Avenged Tower or give a plus two to that, for that attack. And Corvus, after he makes an undefended attack, discard the top card of the encounter deck, deal one damage to Avenged Tower for each boost icon on that card. He has scheme to attack of one, uh, health of eight for Corvus, uh, Proxima Knight health of nine. And they both have a condition that they cannot be defeated while the other uh, villain has any hit points remaining. So, after that long-winded setup, uh, let's draw our hand size and see what we can do. So we have five cards. We have Blade, Banner's Lab, Boundless Rage, Limitless Strength, and Adam Warlock. Hmm. Kind of want to put Adam Warlock into play, quite honestly. Based upon that, I'm going to Mulligan, Boundless Rage, Banner's Lab, and Blade, in fact, and draw three more. We have Death Focus, Immovable Object, and Limitless Strength. All right. We'll flip up to Hulk. We'll use Limitless Strength to put in Adam Warlock. So he's a thought of one, attack of one. After he attacks or thoughts, we can start discard one card at random from our hand. If that has a certain resource, it'll do various things. We will spend one resource to put in a death focus. Uh, Hulk will attack for three to knock the Black Order procedure out. We'll use our death focus for a limitless stamina to ready. We will attack Proxima for three. 
bring him down to six. Adam Warlock will thwart for one off here, taking one consequential damage. Um, if we had a card, we could discard it at random to do his ability, but we don't, so that's fine. And we're ready up. Let's draw four cards. We have a call for aid, Hulk smash, digging deep, and machine man. Okay. So we get one threat on each. Well, sorry, when player phase ends, this gets attached over here. One threat on each scheme. Proxima is going to attack us. Uh, we can either deal one damage to Avenge Tower or she gets plus two to attack. We'll just do one damage to the tower. So she's coming in for two plus nothing. So Hulk takes two. Get our encounter card. Villain scheme. So Proxima scheming for one plus three. So four. Suddenly that looks kind of scary. But it's now our turn. We will call for aid. So we discard cards from the top of our deck until we discard an Avenger ally, then add that ally to our hand. So let's get discarding. Yeah, digging deep goes to our hand. Another digging deep. There we go, we get Hawkeye. That all goes to our discard. Now I've got to organize my cards, so let's figure out what we're going to do. Okay. We will use Death Focus and two get Digging Deeps to play Hulk Smash for 13 damage onto Corvus Glaive, taking him to zero. We will then Yeah, well, you know, it's probably more efficient, actually. We're going to thwart for one with Adam Warlock. Then we're going to discard one card at random from our hand. If the card's a printed resource has a fist icon, which it does, well, so physical, we can remove three threat from a scheme. We'll take it off under siege. Watch, there's not much else I can do with these cards now, but I think that was the right call because I don't want that threading out. So we'll throw these away. And we're ready up. Draw four cards. We have a suborbital leap, thunderclap, Caliban, and Helicarrier. Can we get one throw on each scheme? Sorry, this should move it into the player phase. Uh, Corvus is now the active villain. So after he makes an undefended attack, we discard. I think we will just defend with Adam Warlock. Just coming for one plus discard one card at random from our hand. So we lose our suborbital leap, and Adam Warlock gets taken out. Get our encounter card. Attach to Proxima Midnight. So just get a plus one to attack. Uh, attack skin overkill and piercing. As here action, we take one uh, damage and spend a energy and mental resource to discard this card. So the most logical thing for us to really do right now is to use Death Focus. Actually, yeah. Use Death Focus. Two resources for a thunderclap. Choose up the three different enemies, deal three damage to each of them. Fortunately, the only person we're going to do three damage to is Proxima. Taking her down to three. Hulk's then going to attack for three. Taking her down to zero, uh, which means we go to stage two. So Corvus has 11, Proxima has 12. 
There's no Ren revealed effects. It's just the same forced interrupts. They just get a bit stronger on their like attack over here and uh, attack with Corvus as well, I believe it is. All right, already up. Draw four cards. The Strength, Thunderclap, Limitless Stamina, and White Fox. Focus Defense goes over here. We get one threat on each scheme. Proxima is attacking. Hmm. You know what, we'll do a damage to Avengers Tower. Uh, so she's only attacking for base four. We're going to take it. So four plus uh, add the villain's scheme and attack to this villain's scheme attack. So attacking us for six. So four, five, six for adding the attack. Knocking Hulk down to eight. Get our counter card. Attach to Corvus Glaive. Now he's got uh, Retaliate one. And he's got plus one attack, and again, we can take a damage, spend energy and physical to discard that card. But what we are going to do is, we're just going to spend one, two, three resources for a Thunderclap. She's got three different enemies, deal three damage to each of them. And this is not an attack, so we can't get retaliated, so not cause down to eight. Proxima down to nine. Uh, Hulk will attack for three on Proxima. We use our death focus for a limit of stamina to ready. Attack for another three. Then we're going to flip down and ready up. Get five cards. These are our last three here. We have Clarity of Purpose, Limit the Stamina, and Suborbital Leap. And a Hulk Smash and Crushing Glow. We get an encounter card because we decked out. Um, focus Defense goes over here. We get one threat on each of these. Corvus Glaive is going to scheme, so he's scheming for two plus uh, discard one card at random from our hand. It's going to be Clarity of Purpose. So what he's scheming for two and that, so this will trigger. So when this stage will be completed, remove all threat from the stage instead, and then deal each player one face down encounter card. So. We get a counter card, and then we get our normal encounter card. Let's see how we go. All right, we have a black order procedure. After engage, you choose idea one damage to Avengers Tower, or two to our identity. We'll just do one to Avengers Tower. Uh, we have a landing craft comes in with two threat per player, and has a when defeated effect, and it's put an acceleration token to play. And finally, Court of Card, discard an upgrade or support your control. So there goes our death focus. Always get caught off guard. Okay. Well, there's one thing for it, isn't there? We, well, we will experimental research first. So we'll, well, that's the exhausted side. Draw a card and discard a card. It's Hawkeye, doesn't matter. We flip up into Hulk. We're going to spend three physical resources to Hulk smash. And we're going to do it on the Black Order procedure because the overkill will go to the active villain, which is currently Corvus Glaive. So Hulk smashing for 13, that's more than enough to knock out the Black Order procedure and take Corvus to zero without the retaliate. Uh, with that then we're ready. Draw four cards, got Digging Deep, Lockjaw, Unstoppable Force, and Machine Man. Okay. Focus Defense moves over to 
Proxima Midnight. We put two threat on each of these because of the acceleration. Which is going to trigger Proxima Scheme because it's threatening out six. So when the stage is complete, remove all threat and then deal six damage uh, to the Avengers Tower, which is going to push that to nine. So as a result, uh, after the damage place, if there's at least nine damage here, remove all of it, then flip the Avengers Tower over. We flip it over. It's now its damage side. Um, when revealed, we discard each uh, other Avengers Tower from play, but there is none. And a force response after damage is placed here. If there's nine more damage, we lose the game. Uh, so that's that all triggered. Proxima Midnight is going to attack us. We will deal one damage to Avengers Tower. And we will defend. So just coming in for three, four, five, six. We take three because we defended for three. Get our counter card. Deal three damage to Avengers Tower. That is fine. Because now we're just going to spend two. Well, Unstable Force, Ready Hulk, if you paid this using physical resources, draw one card. We will. No Professor X, but it's not going to matter. Proxima's on three health. Hulk swings for three. Defeating Proxima Midnight. Once again, Hulk, strongest one there is. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, pretty much tower defense is one of the easier scenarios of the game for sure, but it was fun just doing the you know, discarding cards, Hulk deck. Didn't quite work out again. You know, didn't get to do the White Fox trick or anything like that, but it worked well enough, I think. I mean, got the win. Uh, so if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.